Hello, this is Shiming again. So today, instead of doing something about sketchbook designer tutorial, I am going to show you something about SketchUp. Uh, consider this scenario. Um, at my workplace, there are some clients who do not have enough budget and money to get a topographic survey. Then in that case, if their existing site it has a slope to it and if we want to get an idea of how it slopes there is a easy way to use SketchUp to get that information now the information may not be accurate like to to a very accurate as a surveyor but at least you will get an idea of how the lot slopes and then this is going to take advantage of the free SketchUp download the, and then at the same time um, We'll take advantage of um, the online um, information from what Google provides. Um, then let's get into it. So we are going to start in SketchUp and then again like I said this could be done with the, the free SketchUp you can download. This is the SketchUp 8. Uh, so first thing you would want to do is you want to come over here to the menu to add location. Now you can also come up to the menu over here and um, I believe one second I'm having a hard time trying to find this alright I think I remember where it is so I think you go to file to the menu and then you go to geo location and then we go add location now we're going to come up to Google map now we're gonna add a location I'm going to pick a I'm gonna pick my site to San Francisco this is the current site for my thesis project for masters I'm just going to show you how to get the topo there's a quite a bit of slope in this area now so as you notice this works like a Google map would work then you come up to the top right corner and we select region now and then we have four pins that come up and then we could select our region that we want to make a topo of and then I'm not going to make it too big so I'm just what it does is that SketchUp will grab this map from Google and import that information onto um, the SketchUp program now I'm just going to grab this it'll take a little bit to load and now it is ready so we will click on this map and then as you can see this is the scale of my person that's there so we'll click on the map it will remain red because it is locked if you want to you could unlock it but I suggest that you keep it locked for now now as you can see the plane the image that we got from SketchUp on the map it's rather flat so but that's okay because once we come into here we can click on the button toggle terrain once we toggle the terrain you will notice that the terrain starts you notice that the terrain appears and then what we and then the most useful thing from this is to get some topo lines from um, this map so first thing we want to do is go up to like a plan view an overhead view create a rect rectangle that covers the whole entire map and then you will take this map and move it I mean I, I'm sorry you take the rectangle and you move it to the lowest point which for me the lowest point for this site is at the bottom of that image that we got it doesn't have to be at the bottom you can make it much much more lower just in case so what we are going to do is we are going to move this we're going to duplicate 
this rectangle again multiple times. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move it. I'm going to press control and you'll notice that there's a plus next to my cursor. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to press the up key on my keyboard so that it restrains to the um, blue axis which is vertical axis and then and you notice on the bottom right where my length is I am going to type 5 feet 5 feet is the interval for the topo lines that I'm going to create after I type 5 feet do not do anything else from there continue to type 30x what 30x is is that it will duplicate that rectangle 30 times in all in the direction you select it so I've so then now you see that all of the plane it you don't see the topo in you don't see the topo map anymore so after that you're gonna select everything and then and then left click come over down here intersect faces with selection give it time to process and if you don't know what is inter what you, if you don't know what intersect faces with selection means then I suggest you look for another tutorial or maybe I could do some do another tutorial to talk about um, the usefulness of this function now after I'm just going to select a corner of the rectangle over here and I'm going to delete and then I'm going to continue doing that select the corners and deleting it and now as you notice we have our topo lines at five foot intervals isn't that awesome now you'll notice that the um, that it's not perfect and then there's a lot of lines, like tiny second lines. The lines are not perfect, but from here you can get an idea of how the site slopes. Then you can click on the image itself. You could you, you could delete it or um or hide it. I would prefer to unlock it, and I would also like to hide it so that I could come back to it later. And then now we have um, our site. And with all the top lines, and now so you can now you can um, take this and build your 3D model off of it. Um, I think that you cannot export um, to to a um, AutoCAD format, uh, DWG format in the free version. So if you like this option and if you like to export this to DWG, I think you would need the pro version for that. So from here you can take out I think that the person intersected. From here you could yeah, so from here you can get all the topo lines. If you want to create a, a topo in um, SketchUp, there is a sandbox tool that you could use. You can come up to window and then you can come to um, and you can get sandbox from the view, the two bars, and then you can come to sandbox. If I think that if you do not see sandbox, there is a way to come to system preferences and then come over to extensions and there is sandbox tools. I think by default sandbox tools are um, deselected, so you can come in and Reselect that again. So what it does is that you click on all of the topo lines in that you have created from the map, and then you come over here and you click from contours. What that is is that it'll make it'll create that it basically it'll create the site from the contours that you have made. And now we have here the topo from the contours. Now in this case, the topo lines is separate from the topo that you created. So in this case, you could either take these out, and then most of the time I would just hide them and group the topo together so that they're much more easier to take care of. So there you have it. We have a basic 
Topo from SketchUp, and it's free. Um, another thing I would like to talk about is the to grab the terrain. There's a, also a nice feature about this is you could also get 3D models from Google. I think I'll talk about this in another video. So um, thanks for watching. Um, have fun, and then I will see you next time.